o isa tayo nila ay nararapat. At dun sa taong maaaring hindi nila masyadong kasunduan na kamag-anak, ay eh mas marami o may tinanggap na sa tingin niya hindi karapat dapat. So pag merong hindi satisfied, doon nagkakaroon ng kaunting gulo. Hindi masaya, naglalabar na, nag-aawayan. Minsan, dinadal, nag, nag, nagkakapuntahan pa sa korte. No? Kailang i, idalim pa sa, sa court. At doon, lalong-lalo ng masaklap, nagkakawatak-watak yung pamilya. Nag-aaway-aaway, nagkakahiwalayan. Sa gospel na binasa natin, mayroong huling habilin. Simple lang, wala namang masyadong ari-arian si Jesus. Diba? Pero mayroon siyang huling habilin na napaka-importante. Napaka-importante. Dalawang tao na napaka-importante sa kanya. Yung kanyang nanay at yung kanyang mga apostoles. Mga tao. Yung nanay niya in a very specific way, very special way, at yung mga tao. Sabi niya kay, dun sa, kay Mary, sa kanyang nanay, di ba? Behold your son. At dahil dun, Sinabi niya, bale, yung disciple, which ang um, sabi ng mga, mga gospel scholar, si John yun. No? Kasi si John ang sumulat ng gospel. But sabi niya, kasi beloved disciple si John. So, si John daw yun. But I think that, but oh, the church has interpreted that as, as representing all of humanity. No? So, woman, behold all of humanity. Siguro sa panahon na yun, si John lang. Pero later on, it has come to be interpreted as we all are part of that. Lahat tayo ay pinapaalagaan ni Jesus kay Mary. Behold your son. Behold your children. Behold your church, the church. No? Um, in effect, si Mary, na, da, na mother of God, ay naging also mother of the church. At tayo yun. Dahil tayo yung mga inampun ng Diyos, dahil tayo yung mga naging kapatid ni Kristo dahil sa ating pananampalataya, eh, naging na rin tayong anak ng mahal na ina. We have become the children of the mother of God. So siguro mayroon tayong pwedeng itanong sa ating mga sarili na practical application sa bagay na yan. Una-una, para sa mga nanay, no? Si woman, behold your son. So mga nanay, paano ba natin inaalagaan yung mga inihabilin sa atin? Mga anak natin, pamangkin natin, mga nakababata sa atin. Mga, kung kanino man, hindi lang siguro mga nanay, no? kahit mga lalaki pa. Kung sino man yung nabigyan ng responsibility to care for other people. So how do we care for the people who, are, who have been given to us as our responsibility? Paano natin inaalagaan? Meron ba kaya, lalo-lalo na sa mga ina, meron ba kaya na meron ka kayang hindi maaring i-sacrifice for your children? Kasi di ba, ang ina, pwedeng i- ialay lahat para sa kanilang anak. Hmm? Pero baka, saka, baka sakasakali, meron ka kayang pinangahawakan na kahit kailan hindi mo may aalay, kahit na sa sarili mong anak. Pwedeng pag-isipan. Sa so, pang pwede pag-isipan ay nung sinabi ni Jesus na woman behold your son. Ibig sabihin, si Mary also, when she takes care of her children, when she takes care of us, ang ultimate direction, ultimate goal is for her to lead us, not to herself, but to Jesus. Kasi si Jesus naman ang Diyos. Di ba? So, siguro yun ang pinaka-importante in a way na parang kailangan natin laging tatandaan sa ating devotion sa Blessed Mother, no? Na hindi nagtatapos yung ating devotion sa mahal na ina. We don't go to the Blessed Mother just to stop there. We go to the Blessed Mother so that we can also become closer to God, closer to Jesus. At ganun din ang gusto nang mangyari na ang mahal na birhin. Bubut naman tayo sa Kanya, pupunta tayo sa Kanya para mapalapit tayo, hindi lang sa Kanya, kundi sa Kanyang anak, sa Diyos. No? She becomes only the way to Jesus. She leads us to her Son. At nangyari yun dahil, bali hindi isa sa Kanyang sariling kapangyarihan, kundi sa graces pa rin ng Diyos, 
na nag-cooperate siya. She, her being the mother of God well, also happened and became true because she cooperated with the grace of God. Hindi sa kanya lang mismo nang galing yun. Mismo yung kanyang holiness, yung kanyang pagiging tapat sa Diyos ay merong grasya ng Diyos. Katulad rin sa atin, kung tayo may nagiging, mag, nagiging maayos na tao ay dahil nagko-cooperate tayo sa uh, sa grasya ng Diyos. So isa siguro sa pwede natin pag-isipan o tanongin sa ating sarili, aside from from being taking care of children or taking care of those who have been given to us, is also have we become closer to Jesus because of our devotion to the Blessed Mother? Kung gaano naman kalakas at kalalim ang ating devotion to the Blessed Mother, napalapit ba na nito tayo kay Jesus? Sa panghabilin ni, Je- ni Jesus ay kay John naman, Behold your mother. So, tanong naman natin sa ating sarili, How do we treat our mothers? Lalong-lalo na, pag, pag bata ka pa, pag infant ka pa lalo na, no, pag baby-baby ka pa, wala kang kapangyarihan. You only depend on your mother. You te- depend your whole life on your mother. No? Pag baby pa. Pag naging bata ka na, we respect our mothers and we obey them, di ba? Kasi sila yung lagi natin kasama, sila nag-aalaga sa atin, nagbibihis, nagpapaligo, uh, naggumago ng lahat para sa atin. So we, we love them, we respect them, and we obey them. Well, we almost, in quotation marks, adore them. But ang question is, when we become adults, kapag tumanda na tayo at naging halos parang kapantay na natin ng ating nanay sa pag-iisip, sa ugali, mga ganyan. We have become adults like our, like our parents. As adults, how do we treat our mothers, our parents? Lalo-lalo na kapag tumanda na, no? Kapag medyo naging mahina na, naging wala nang masyadong magawa, no? Na presence na lang, the reverence ng isang nanay, ang nanjan. Paano natin sila tinatrato? Minamahal pa ba natin sila? Nagagalang pa ba natin sila? Nabibigay pa ba natin sa kanila yung kailangan nila at yung gusto nila? Hmm? How do we care for them? Pwede natin pag-isipan. And we also care for one another. Nalagaan natin yung nanay natin at nalagaan din tayo. Hindi lang para doon nagtapos. Again, hindi doon nagtapos. Kundi para maka- mapalapit tayo kay Jesus. Even in our caring for our mothers, di ba? Dahil yun ang tama, dahil yun ang gusto ng Diyos, napapalapit tayo sa Panginoon. Sa pag-aalaga natin ng, ma- ng mahusay at ng may, may pagmamahal sa ating mga magulang, napapalapit din tayo sa Diyos. So, uh, by choosing what is right, by doing what is good, we become closer to God. Sa buhay natin, katulad ni Mary, katulad ni John, we are given opportunities to be holy. Araw-araw, binibigyan tayo ng mga opportunities to become holy. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Grasya ng Diyos, no? araw-araw, mo- moment, every moment, meron doon dating sa ating grasya na para sana maging tayong mas, mas banal, mas, mas katulad ng Panginoon. So, gras- pero yung grasya na yun, hindi matutupad kung hindi natin, kung hindi, kung hindi tayo magka-cooperate. Katulad ng pag-cooperate ni Mary sa grasya na binigay sa Kanya. So the graces that God gives us also calls for our cooperation. Diba? So kailangan tanggapin din natin at um, galo- action na natin yung graces na ibinibigay sa atin. Ano ibig sabihin? To choose, basically, to choose what is right. To live like Jesus. And maybe, hopefully, also by doing so, lead others to God. So makikita natin, lagi na lang lead, laging papunta sa Diyos, papunta kay Jesus. Hindi nagtapos kay Mary, hindi nagtapos sa cross, hindi nagtapos sa atin, nasa nanay natin. Laging patungo kay Jesus. Laging patungo sa Diyos. Bakit? Kasi yun naman ang end ng ating buhay. Yun naman ang pinaka-purpose ng ating buhay. Makarating sa Diyos. Makasama ang Diyos. Mabuhay ng walang hanggan kasama ang Diyos. So, huling tanong para sa atin, do we cooperate 
nagco-cooperate ba tayo sa grasya ng Diyos? Do we lead, do we, are we closer to God? And do we lead others closer to God? Sana lagi nating matandaan, no? Every time we are, we are faced with the decision to make, ng decision natin ay lagi para mapalapit sa Diyos. Gawin ang tama para mapalapit sa Diyos. Let us all stand now. Even to Mary, life was no simple task, but she had faith in God and so she could remain full of courage in all circumstances. Let us too pray with faith to God who loves us and let us say, Lord, make our faith grow. Lord, make our faith grow for a courageous and loyal faith which the church needs in the confusing circumstances of these times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For resolute strength and perseverance for all those who commit themselves to give peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many whose faith is tested by adversity and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the many young people who are disappointed by the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. For the sick and the handicapped, for those dying this very hour, for dead people dear to us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, make our faith grow. God, you are good and you want to make all people happy. But when we are sorely tested, it is difficult to have faith. With the help of Mary, we ask you for much faith, for joy and courage for ourselves and for others. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name. 
in veneration of the blessed ever virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me as we pray the Oratio Imperata. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians, for the increase of priestly vocations in the Church of Linge and the Gupan. After each petition, we say, Grant through, you, through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. 
Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass descended, let us go to praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Now we pray for the sick and for your religious articles. Our help us in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs>